folks, today was an absolutely humiliating one for Donald Trump, based both on what happened today, this afternoon, but also on some news from a couple weeks ago that nonetheless just broke recently. And given what's happened today, the context makes it so much worse for Donald Trump. And it's all connected to his one remaining reliable income source, which is grifting his own fan base. So whether it's holding for profit rallies or whether it's doing all sorts of functions on his properties or whether it's selling his picture book, Donald Trump can still make money as long as it's grifting his own supporter base. And so he's tried to have these rallies and make all of this money in these events, but his golf tournament that was held this weekend was a total flop, at least from the point of ticket sales. And then I'm going to get into the fact, I'm going to cover this, I'm going to get into the fact that Donald Trump recently recently had to cancel two for-profit rallies. In June, it was reported that Trump land acknowledges his rally crowds have gotten smaller. Quote, the delicate politics of this new tour took a marquee role at Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster for the Lib's third event. Mr. Trump emerged as a rare politician in favor of the Saudi back venture, as many on Capitol Hill have raised concerns over it. The golf tournament, meanwhile, wasn't exactly supercharged. Like crowds were spread across much of the vast ground here on the first day of the tournament. Tickets for Saturday's session were available on StubHub for as little as $1, Rupert Murdoch's paper reported. So he's digging the knife into Trump further as he's kicking him off air. He's just reporting on Donald Trump's business failure. Guys, you can't sell the ticket for less than $1. $1 is effectively no dollars. Means they're effectively giving away tickets for a for-profit event. They are giving away tickets. Remember, Donald Trump, it's not about just about money. It's also about ego. And so Donald Trump has often had these free rallies, but as he's tried to move towards for-profit rallies where you actually have to pay to attend, he's found it very difficult in some cases to actually sell the tickets because his fans, even if they do like him or at least tolerate him, aren't willing to spend their hard-earned money to get yelled at about what happened back in 2020. They at least want some new lies from Donald Trump if they're going to shell out money. And this connects to the fact that just a few weeks ago, Donald Trump canceled two rallies uh, in his paid tour for unforeseen circumstances. And it's gotta be because of the sales guys. There's no other reasonable explanation. It says two days after it was announced that a rally featuring former president Donald Trump in Birmingham was canceled and a new one was planned for Mobile. The latter event fell through as well. The American Freedom Tour said the June 18 event was postponed due to unforeseen circumstances, but they had plans to hold a similar event in Mobile on July 9th. But on Thursday, they said that that event was canceled as well. They did say that they were planning a countrywide tour, but as of the publishing of this report, there was only two dates left. So guys, what this really shows me is a man forced to cancel events forced to shut down events because he can't sell tickets, right? He literally can't sell enough in some cases to make it worthwhile. And one wonders that while this golf tournament can't be shut down mid tournament, like are, is, are they going to go back to Trump? Is this new golf tour or the old PGA going to go to Trump and say, look, you want to host these tournaments, but not only are you a massive political liability on one of the days of the tournament, the second final day of this brand new tour on your supposedly luxurious golf club. And we get all these big stars and all this media, you have to give away tickets for a buck. No other major sports league does that. No other sports league gives tickets away for a buck for a marquee event. It just doesn't happen. Donald Trump is being forced to cancel events for unforeseen circumstances. And that means he, uh, he couldn't foresee the fact that no one wants to pay for his crappy events.